what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today part two of the engine teardown last time you saw me we took the top end apart inside the ski got the cylinders off and got it down to the pistons at the bottom end since then i've taken the four motor mount bolts out pulled the bottom end out i did this by hand pretty simple oh and i started taking the pistons off to take the pistons out i saved one to show you guys but i'll point it out here there's a little clip in there a little c-ring we're gonna pop that out um and then we can slide the wrist pin out and it'll come out that way after that we'll move on to timing pulling this guy off taking the gear off the chain the tensioner and uh that'll be it what i recommend before you do this is this is where the dipstick mounts take the two 10 millimeters out there drain the oil into a pan uh, that'll get the bottom end mostly drained so when you flip it you're not pouring oil everywhere but let's get right into this let's start with this last piston then we'll do the timing like i said and we can flip her over guys i'll show you what we did all the pan bolts off pop that off put these bolts out for your oil pump take that out you get a gear on here with a chain so you pop this gear off this one here with this bolt another eight mil all eight mils everything you need is an eight ten and a twelve i believe um so we took those two off got all that off now our whole oil pump assembly is disconnected pretty simple pretty straightforward put that there with all the oily gunk now what we're gonna do see how these bolts have numbers 16 14 blah 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 one we're gonna go around the outside edge the higher numbers take those out first in a staggered star pattern and release pressure everywhere evenly and then we'll do the inside ones i'm gonna throw you guys back up on the mount i'm gonna get working on that and next time you see me this whole case will be split and it's just really that simple it's a really quick process probably taking me 15 20 minutes to get this all apart and that's what's filming so yeah back to the back up here
All right, guys, so there it is. Easy as that. There's a little area right over here uh, where you can pry the case to split apart. It shouldn't take much pressure. There's really not that much case sealant on these, but as you can see, there's the inside. It really doesn't look that bad. If we look at our crank bearings here, or, yeah. They're actually in really good shape still. So much sand and gunk in there, as you can see. But yeah, also take a look at this. So this is a stock cam, or I mean crankshaft. And you see someone's even been in here before, but all stock. And I'll take you over here and show you the inside of what an SPT is. A lot of people don't like the SPT crankshafts. And you can see there's a clear difference in just how they look and everything. That's the red ski motor. I'm um, not gonna show too much of that. That one we're a little head on. This one would just get split. So that's all wrapped up. What I'm gonna do next is clean all this. And next time you guys see me, it'll be time for reassembly. But yeah, I'm gonna get to cleaning. I don't really wanna show any of that. It's just gonna be grimy. You wanna get this as clean as you can, especially because of all that salt. You don't want it making its way back through because you don't wanna do this a second time. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna start uh, getting this all cleaned up, like I said, pulled apart, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we're back. And as you can see, we're working on pistons now. We got everything kind of cleaned up internally, ready to go, all laid out. So here we got our new piston from WSM and our rings. Our rings are gonna go in a specific order. Um, I'm gonna show you this, because it's gonna be hard to show on the piston. You're gonna have one oil ring on the bottom. These are your groove for your oil rings. So you have this one, then this one, then your next oil ring. Then your secondary ring, which is the big thick one. And then your first ring, which is this guy. It's got a one on it. You can even see that one R. So that's the order. These need to be laid out in a certain way. So you have the big side of the crown down. One needs to go like that, straight up and down. Two needs to be opposite of that. Your first oil ring needs to be off to a 40 that way. The middle oil expander ring needs to go level with the second ring, right? Boom. Do it like this. Boom, boom. And the other oil ring that goes on the bottom or the top where you put it at another 40. So basically straight up and down, straight down, this one straight down, then these two go off to 40s. So I'm throw you guys up on the tripod and I'll show you how I throw all that together. As you can see, second ring is pointed down. You see there's an R on that? This top thinner ring pointed up has a one. So I get it one R, so ring one. And then it's hard to see the gaps. Let's see if I can get that. See that gap there off to a 40? And then we should have our other gap there. It's hard to capture it, but there it is. Where is it there? All right, yeah, that was hard to capture, but you get the point. Rings are all in. So that one's done. I'm gonna do this on the next three and then we'll check back in. Scoring, 
So we'll do next is put the cylinders on the block. Or actually, yeah, cylinder on the block. We'll compress those and put them in, and then we'll flip it over and mount it that. So I'll throw it back on the tripod, and me and Tyler will get to work. Alright, as you guys saw, we got all the pistons on the rods. We just got to put all the new C-clips in each end. We'll be good to go. I'll put some assembly lube on there just to uh, make sliding easier. Lubricate the surfaces, all that. You can never go wrong with some assembly lube. But yeah, we'll move on to the next step. We're just going to be putting those C-clips in and then we'll compress the rings and get them in the cylinders. guys so as you see rods are all in pistons are in lock sitting on there good got to be sorted on there to hold them so they don't fall out so what i'm going to do now is start putting the rod um caps on basically the grooves with the bearings there line up with the groove on um, the other bearing well not line up but side by side you get my drift yeah we just go like that and pop them all on and uh yeah go from there That's all together and on. We're gonna tighten our bolts down to 22, 22 foot pounds and then a 100 and degree, 20 degree turn. So we're gonna do that now. We got our mating surface all cleaned, everything torqued down. Now what we're gonna do is put the uh, whole cradle assembly bottom case half back on. We'll scrub this side and we're gonna take this sealant, put it lightly around here, dab it on with a paintbrush and go from there. So back on the tripod, you guys go.
we're back it's the next day we've got the bottom end as you saw together yesterday today what we're going to work on is the top end in timing and then hopefully dropping one of these two motors into one of these skis i like to get that one done first then we'll make a video on how to put that seat cover on um but yeah that's the plan we're going to get the top end assembled timed and all that last time as you saw we got all our pistons in everything torqued down i painted the block last night um and then i've just been kind of cleaning up the surface area on the head there to make sure it's good to mate i'm going to be using copper spray gasket on both sides of my gasket i've been using that forever has never given me a single problem some people give mixed reviews on it i recommend it uh, but do whatever you want but yeah there's our brand new wsm gasket i'm gonna spray that because as you can see like just how they come they already have imperfections in the coating so just a light layer of the copper gasket i think really goes a long way but yeah first thing we're gonna do i'm gonna finish cleaning this up uh then when we come back i'm gonna put the head on here what we're gonna do is have to torque down the head the head specs you tighten the bolts down in the pattern it says to 17 foot pounds first and then 44 that's it 44 foot pounds they're done you know any tighter they're gonna stretch they're gonna bend and they're gonna snap trust me i've learned the hard way on these that these don't require that much so yeah we're gonna get to work on that and go from there but yeah i'll throw you guys up on the ceiling show you how to put the head on we'll torque it down and then the next thing we'll be doing is putting those cams in putting the cradle on and setting all our fun timing stuff a good place to start is have your motor already set to top dead center so see this line with the t here point that at the gap in your crankcase that little split right there is you just lined right at it and you'll see our piston one and four is now at the top but yeah set that up slide your gasket on and watch me put this all together I, 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 I. Bob and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Pain on the pen, don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Baby girl, love my Bob and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Pain on the pen, don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Big flex, my swole up, double cup and I'm pulled up, niggas hatin' like hold up, what's the problem, I'm pulled up, big flex, my swole up, hard body, they fold up, shawty say I done glowed up, double text on my phone up, fuck with your boy, I'm the man of the year, I'm not a fan of your peers, no serve him with fate, I'ma hand him the shears, he not the man of your peers, no heart of a lion, I'm trampling fears, I love the man in the mirror, cry me a river to stand in the tears, you better stand in the clear, I'm going crazy, niggas fugazi, how would they ever go Fuck with a kid, put it on, baby. You do not phase me, boy. I do not give a fuck what you did. Eating that kitty, she stuck to my rib. How can I trust him? He fuck with the pigs. Bro got a Glock and a couple of C's. He think about splitting a couple of wigs. Shot in my DNA, all real nigga. Sweatsuit, all hill figure. And I ain't even got a deal with you. If I ain't never split a bill with you, I got Hennessy and Hort Chata. Uh -huh. Baby girl wearing Nada. Yeah. Ass growing from a cider. Uh -huh. Bad robe in his Prada. Hey. Fiji water by the cold glass. Zip. Granddaddy by the Ziploc. Flex season. So everything's torqued down now put the new seals in your kit if you did got a whole kit should come with these um what i'm gonna do next is i have a small problem when i got this engine i noticed a piece of a compression tester is still in there so i'm gonna work on getting that out and clean the head up and then when i whenever you guys see me next we're gonna put the cams in and start timing and all that but yeah get your motor to top dead center and next step after i clean this will be uh putting cams in, putting the cradle in, and lining up the cams. <laughs> I'm gonna snake it on my pants. I'll give you the intro for my next YouTube video. <laughs> Take that in me, Tyler. Put it on my leg, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <keep going. laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> So we are back, and as you can see, no more compression tester gauge stuck in there. Now we can move on to timing, um, which is I know what everyone's waiting to see, the big timing job. 
So first off, to make this job easy, we want our crankcase, you can see, lined up with the split right there. So where the crankcase meets, you need that there. That's top dead center. After that, we're gonna get our cam guys. I'm gonna grab those and put some gloves on real quick. All right guys, so the next step, we got our crankcase lined up. You can see there top dead center. It's hard to tell from that angle, but this line right here, T1.4 to this slot. And then what you're gonna do here is get your intake, of course, on your intake side, your exhaust cam on your exhaust side. They're labeled, so it's super easy. Um, and then let me get to show you the instructions. All right, so per the manual, with your mark here, top dead center, we want, you see those intake lines? Those need to be flush with the head here. And takes point to the left, right? Just like that. And you gotta think when the girdle, girdle tightens down, it's gonna pull tension on this chain. So you gotta kinda adjust it for that. But see here, we want the intake marks on the left and the exhaust marks on the right. Intake needs to line up on the head. Basically both lines need to be flush with the head. Just see how that is. I got a little too much tension on that chain, but you get the point. Those are pretty, those are actually about spot on. So I'm going to adjust those and tighten our girdle down that's sitting back there. And I'll show you guys how it looks all lined up. And then we'll turn it over a couple times. And I'm roll running, I'm staying all on my tip top. Young man with an old mind, so I ain't worried about slight shit. I be up till sunrise, I'm staying out on my night shift. I got a bottle of bourbon, a bundle of honeys, I'm jiggy, I'm flexing the bit. Figured I hit it and quit it, I'm busy, I ain't got the minutes for texting it, bitch. Came from the gutter with me and my brother, I'm moving my mother right out of the city. Bitch, I'm a star and they know I go hard, so I'm kissing them babies and signing them titties. Go blinging like Chingo, rock star like Ringo. Checks coming in back to back, I'ma line them up like me they be all of my wood till not a stain on my white tea i'm popping all of this good shit big flex my swole up double cup and i'm pulled up niggas hating like hold up what's the problem i'm pulled up big flex my swole up hard body they fold up shawty say i done glowed up double text on my phone up baby girl love my bop and i like me too no roof on my top and my babe see through hating on the pen don't stop shit ain't gonna feed you I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Baby girl, love my bop, and I like me too. No roof on my top, and my babe see through. Right, Ain't on the pants, don't stop, me. shit ain't gonna feed you. Like I've been all on my grind, center. so why I need you? Here we are, lined up there, and that doesn't look like it, but uh, from that angle, we were lined up flush with the head. Let's see if I get that there. You gotta see. But yeah, we're lined up. I'm gonna rotate over a couple times, see how it looks. Still gotta lock that chain in. It's gonna click in once uh, we're there. That's why I know this one will kind of lock over. But yeah, I'm gonna turn it over, put the covers back on, put the valve cover back on. And that's pretty much it. That's how you time one of these, fully rebuild it. Everything, we've done everything into this one except bearings. Um, but yeah, it's so like I said, top dead center lined up, intakes to the left, lined up with the head, exhaust is to the right, lined up with the head, and then slot your tensioner back in. But yeah. It took me a little while to figure out out the proper procedure for this. Um, so I put the tensioner in without the bolt in, and it's actually a ratcheting tensioner, so you gotta unlock and slide it all the way back. Put that in, then line up your cams, and put your chain on, and then put your cradle on. Make sure everything's lined up. So yeah, I'm gonna rotate this over a couple times by hand my valve cover gasket back on around here slap the valve cover back on and then we'll be ready to put the ski back in um which i don't know if i'm going to show that yet it's kind of a pain you can't really see the lines anyway uh, but yeah we're almost done with this rebuild guys so like i said we got a time got the valve cover on as you can see i have this rope on it i like to drop these in with two people just kind of lift it up 
tip it back and slide it in because uh, my garage does not really have the best overhead supports and I don't want to put a hoist up. So we're going to drop this one in and go from there. You saw how I uninstalled it, put it back in the same way. The only difference is this time it's complete. But yeah, that's where we're going to end it for this time. Thanks for tuning in for part two, the disassembly of the bottom end and reassembly of the whole motor. Hopefully this helps you guys out. As always, we're not professionals. This is all backyard built based off things we've learned taking motors apart. So take that with a grain of salt as well. But we'll catch you guys next time. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. My bop and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Baby girl, love my bop and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through.